This foul looking man is quick to notice he's caught your attention. In moments he's upon you, hawking his wares. He carries a long wooden pole, dozens of skin and cooked rats dangle from it. As he speaks, he gestures to them with a broad, filth encrusted hand, smiling a yellowed, snaggle toothed grin all the while. Oi, Cutter, how are you doing there? What sort of delicious rats he's there is he interested in this fine day? Uh, what sort of ratsies did you have for sale? Good, Cutter, good. What sort would you like? He points to each in turn with a grimy fingernail. I've got them baked, spiced, boiled, and charred. All fresh, all scrumptious, and only three coppers for two? <laughs> uh, three coppers for two. Um, <clears throat> I feel like I'm going to do this because this, this sounds like fun. All right. Uh, so what would the nameless one like? Well, I think he'd want spiced. You know, he... He, um... Thinks that spices would add more flavor to it, so let's try that. Hand over your coppers, and in one swift motion, he runs a pair of spiced rats through with a wooden skewer, unhooks them, and places them in your hand. He winks at you. Enjoy, Cutter. Let's eat it. It's aromatic and quite spicy. Apparently marinated some sort of herbal mixture before being cooked. It's a bit greasy and rather rich, tasting of some other meat you're unsure you've had before. The man looks at you expectantly. Did you like? Would you like another? Uh, <laughs> it was good, but I have a question for you. Shoulders the rat pole casually. What's your question, Cutter? What? I was told to ask a man named Creedon in front of the office of Vermin and these control about a trash-filled archway in Ragpicker Square. Okay. This does actually uh, ring a bit of a bell. Okay, yeah. Updated my journal. He thinks for a moment. Aye, I know what you're speaking of. There was a lass of name uh, Onals who I saw walk through there once while I was looking for rats. Don't know how she did it, though. Could probably find her northeast of here, rooting around some pile of lumber for nails and like. Is it nulls or nails? Looks like nulls. Alright. Um we've actually talked to her before, so let's uh let's go and do that. Tister Zero. I see your leaving cutter. But before you go, would you like a nice delicious ratsy? One for the road, you might say. <sighs> Why not? <laughs> I seem to like the spiced one, so let's do it. And then, uh, leave. <laughs> oh, didn't seem to do any healing. <laughs> Not too surprised. Okay. Ah, uh, no, those are hive slugs. Stay away. Who's this? Ash Mantle? Have you seen this person before? Yeah, let's talk to Ash Mantle. See a pale-faced dustman in long black robes. Unlike the dustman you saw in the mortuary, however, this man looks confused and is glancing about as if looking for something. Okay. Seems relieved that you are speaking to him. He bows slightly. Thank you for hearing me, traveler. I am known as Ash Mantle, one of the dustman's sect. I was wondering if you could direct me. I don't know the area very well, and I'm looking for a certain establishment. A bar that those of my sect frequent. Oh, do you know of such a place? We do. Yeah, the dustman bars by the mortuary. Uh, yeah, I'll just tell him. The dustman smiles. Thank you very much, traveler. I appreciate Candace. The people of the hive are barely helpful in such matters. I don't think we really have any questions, so we're just going to say, not a problem. Farewell. You're about to turn away when you suddenly have a feeling that something is amiss. Suspicious, you glance at Ash Mantle again, just in time to see him tucking something into his sleeves. It looks like something of yours. Okay, so this is a much like that fleece character we encountered before. So let's see. We could attack him. It's basically what happened last time. Uh, grabbing did not work last time. Let's try baiting him. Under the pretense of giving him additional directions to places in the hive, 
You engage Ashmantle in light conversation and secretly study his movements. Ashmantle seems to rely primarily on his dustman facade to disarm his victim and uses frequent bowing motions to cover his pickpocketing attempts. You make a mental note of each technique. As just as he makes another attempt to reach into your purse. Now we'll grab his hand. Your hand snaps out. Okay. And you see this dustman facade crumble, and with a friendly look, he runs off. Alright, well, let's go get our stuff. Damn it. And, uh, heal a bit, perhaps. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the nameless one would be upset about being robbed, so I think it is in character to go chase after this guy and, well, basically hunt him down. But it was interesting, because I saw we got experience for uh, observing the technique. Which is, I'm not really sure I understand. Huh. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's buy some more healing items. Can't seem to get enough of those lately. And we've got lots of money. Ooh. I can keep buying them. Yeah, let's just buy a bunch. <laughs> Probably going to be relying on those. And we'll sell that. The rat charm, and I guess we can sell the jagged knife as well. Because we're here. Oh yeah, and we still need to talk to... Uh, what's her face? I don't recall her name. Uh, Iron Nulls. All right, greetings. We've talked to her. I'm sure I've read that before. She straightens up, hearing your approach. She's smiling politely, but from her stance and the way her hands rest close to the hilt of her weapon, you can tell she's ready for trouble. All right, I had some questions. I was told to ask a woman named Nalls, who might find around here, rooting around in a pile of lumber about the trash-filled archway into Ragpicker Square. Can you help me? Updated my journal. Nalls nods slowly. It's a portal, you know. Aha! Stumbled on it quite by chance, I did. All you need to do is have a handful of junk on you when he walks up to it, and you'll be able to pass through it. There's a small open space past the portal and a gate leading underground, but I figured no sense in asking for trouble, so I just turned around and went right back. Here! She hands you a handful of junk. Use this if you likes. I was going to toss it away anyhow. Thanks, Nulls. Farewell. Alright, so that was a pleasant encounter. Let's, uh, let's go and, let's go I'm and gone. do that. I'm gone. I think we might actually get to see Farrah today. I'm so excited. <laughs> ah, this I'm took gone. forever. However, we did get to see much of Sigil, so I guess it wasn't all for naught, but anyway, I'm happy to get the plot underway. What's that thing? Yeah, just a rusty dagger. Don't need that. Okay. So suppose we should save. Let's save here. And go up there. Um we could heal. Nah. I think we'll be fine. Famous Westwards. So let's see. Does the portal open? Please? Okay. The rubbish is packed so tightly. Do do. As you come closer, however, the archway's outline begins to shimmer. You notice a handful of junk you've been carrying about begins to shimmer as well. Let's thrust junk into the archway. The wall of rescues flickers, wavers, and seems to hold fold in on itself, revealing an open space behind it. Passage or portal seems to have formed within the frame of the archway. Let's go. Uh. Okay. I guess we went through. Oh, we're down here now! So we were up here and now we're in an area I was trying to click on before. Let's go in here. Very good. Anomaly. <laughs> I like that name. 
A ragged, middle-aged collector approaches you as you enter the area. I... He quickly looks you over, then sneers. Don't know you. That's an interesting... reaction. Huh. Sneers and then says, don't know you. Okay. I... Uh, don't believe I've made your acquaintance either. The collector continues to glare at you. Is there a problem? The problem, as I be seen it, Burke, is that you continue to breathe in my presence. He spits. Okay. <laughs> uh, so if you don't let me pass, I'm... Okay, so that's a threat. Uh, collecting bodies before they're dead sounds like a good way to meet the lady. Is that a deity? Not sure. Then I'll leave your presence, Burke. Yeah, then I'll leave your presence. Just ignore him. As you turn to leave, you notice the collector drawing a knife from one of his pockets. Don't you know what you uh, was thinking about by coming down here? But the only place he'll be going is to the mortuary cutter. <sighs> I don't think so. Okay. Um... I guess we just have to attack. Uh, yeah. This is getting ugly. Uh, let's go to a more defensive position. And be ready to heal up. Because we could get attacked. So I'll just be ready to have my uh, finger on the key while... Well, we're attacking. I think we're attacking. Yeah, okay. We seem to be doing okay. Astonishingly. Alright, he's running away. Let's leave him alone. And keep working at these guys. Let's have to keep an eye on both these guys' health because... Uh, well, don't want anyone to die here. All right, he's running away. Let's just leave him alone. Nope, don't need to heal. All right, he's yellow, or he's got a yellow outline. I don't know what that means. Looks like we need some healing, and so does Morta. Okay, so yeah, we'll just, uh, I don't know what the yellow outline means, but I think we'll just leave that. I think that means he surrenders, or doesn't seem to be chasing after us, at least. Rusty dagger we do not need. I'm gone. Take the jagged knife and the bronze bracelet. And, of course, another bronze ring. Nothing else seems to be here, so we'll just move on. Okay, he's attacking us again. Done. For some reason. Done. Uh, yeah. Hang on. Get out of there. I want to pick up that loot. There we go. Some gold, jacket knife. Not too much of interest. I'm gone. So what's this way? So it's just more garbage. Can't seem to go that way. Hmm. Shelf with stuff? Huh. More junk. Bandages. Dustman embalming charm. Take that. I think that's a healing item. Junk? Okay, we only need one, but... I guess it doesn't take any extra space to carry two, so we'll just leave it. I'm gone. Done. Um... Why is there a pile of stuff here? This looks like a trap. Nope, it is just junk. So I guess we'll go this way and maybe we'll find Ferret. Finally. Okay. More combat. We'll just find a nice wall so that we limit the number of ways they can 
come at us. Uh, okay. As I get surrounded. Hmm. Yeah, I think this should be okay. No, not really, but... They seem to be holding up okay, so... We'll be okay. Damn it. See that? Hmm. I have to say, the combat in this game is a little bit slow. Just keep an eye on Mort, just make sure he doesn't die. Before we go after the final guy here. Seem to be getting a lot of experience for these guys, at least. Bronze. More jagged knives. I think we'll have to drop the jagged knives, because they're not... They don't seem to be worth a lot, honestly. Rat charms, on the other hand, are a, a different story. Let's get that last bit of loot, please. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to drop all the jagged knives, because we're... We're getting a lot of stuff here. And let's move on. Hmm. 